What's up guys? Big news today, big announcements from Foresight Sports and Bushnell. Big news, Foresight is now officially integrated with GS Pro Golf Simulation software. They announced that they would officially integrate earlier this year and it's now October and it is live. I've got it working and I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that. Plus, Bushnell made some major changes to their options with the Launch Pro. I'm gonna cover all of that as well. Uh, it's getting a little complicated, but hopefully it is now gonna be more simple going forward. But first, let's go over GS Pro with Foresight or Bushnell. Uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. If you're an existing GS Pro user like me, you're gonna to need to convert over to the official method of connection. Uh, you can use GS Pro's online license conversion request. I'll put a link in the description below to that. If you have any trouble with that or you just have kind of a special situation or anything else, you can also email support at gsprogolf.com. They have been incredibly fast at getting back to me. I'm talking like almost instantaneous. Uh, so either way, they're prepared and uh, ready to help you. But you're gonna request that you switch to the Foresight slash Bushnell license. And once you've done that, you're going to open GS Pro and I'll show you what you need to do to use the Foresight method. So let me go ahead and get started with my uh, screen recording. Okay, so when you open GS Pro, it's probably gonna open to the open API or whatever else you've been using before. In that window, you're gonna wanna click the clear settings button. If it's a different launch monitor, you may have to go to the settings tab and it may say like clear device settings and exit. Either way, that's what you wanna do is hit clear settings and that window is gonna close. Then go into GS Pro settings, go to game, and then right here, reset GS Pro connect. Click that and it's going to reopen the window and give you the option that is, or all the options that are available with your GS Pro license. If you've already done the request for the Foresight license, it should be one of these options. And you'll just click here and that's it. This is the new GS Pro, uh, I'm sorry, Foresight and Bushnell connector. Uh, the first time you're gonna go into Connection Manager and find your launch monitor and click Connect. Uh, I've already done that. I've checked Auto Connect on Startup so I don't have to do that every time and it already auto connected. And you'll see that I've got the green bar across the top. And uh, all I need to do is just throw a golf ball into the hitting area for my GC quad. And it says ready now on the connector. So that's it. Um, and then of course you can hit the open visual data button to get the visual data for your launch monitor. Um, let's see if I can quickly open up the driving range just so that you can uh, see how this is working, but I've already tested it a little bit and it's just as you would expect. Um, here we are on the range, everything's connected. Give it a little shot. <clears throat> and there you go. Okay, it's showing the uh, the driver just because that's the the club I had selected, but I'll just switch that, give it another shot, and the, uh, the picture will go to an iron. There we go. And of course, you've got all the club data visually represented there. This is what I like to have open, um, but that is not really new. That's something that uh, is available with most GS Pro uh, launch monitors. Um, so that's it guys, it's officially connected. I have seen screenshots of people uh, trying to use the old method and it is not working. So that looks like it has been shut down. Um, but let's get into the other changes with Foresight and Bushnell. Um, let's talk about the Bushnell Launch Pro. So going forward from here on out, there is one subscription option and that is gold, okay? The gold subscription has been changed to $499 a year. That's $200 less than it was before. Um, and you are getting uh, all of the FSX software. You're getting integrations 
or, or available integrations with GS Pro, which would be an additional uh, subscription with GS Pro, but it allows you to connect to it. Uh, with a new gold subscription with the Launch Pro, you're getting uh, Awesome Golf, which is in uh, mobile and I guess there's a PC version. Um, it's a simulation software, but a lot of people like it for the mobile app. Uh, and apparently it's got a very good uh, driving range. Um, so that is now available with your Foresight and Bushnell launch monitors to connect to. Um, and you're also getting now 25 included FSX courses uh, with the gold subscription that uh, is up from 10. It used to be just 10 courses, now it's 25. So um, a lot of good stuff for less money, which is awesome. Now the, what used to be the basic subscription doesn't exist anymore. So you do have another option, which is to have no subscription at all, which um, that means your Launch Pro will uh, basically just be the hardware only, uh, and you can see the data on the screen on the Launch Monitor itself. You're not able to connect to any other software. So I do think that there is a certain number of people out there that that fits for. They just want a high quality launch monitor to take to the driving range with them, take to the course. They don't uh, necessarily want all of the other stuff. So um, for some people, that's good that that's an option, um, but the gold subscription is gonna be your only subscription option going forward. Um, you used to have the option to unlock it and get all of the, uh, basically everything you get with gold for a one-time payment that is no longer available. So uh, they will not be offering that going forward according to Bushnell, just the gold subscription for $4.99 a year. Um, now, if you're an existing Launch Pro user and you've got one of these other subscriptions, uh, you are able to be grandfathered in. You just wanna make sure that your uh, license is on auto renew and you don't let that subscription uh, expire. Uh, because you will not be able to get it once it's expired. So if you're, auto, if you're already on the gold subscription, that will be uh, converted to the new gold subscription, which is $200 less. Uh, if you have an already grandfathered silver, that will be uh, continue to be grandfathered. Uh, I believe there was a, a silver subscription that was $500 a year. That, I think, will be automatically converted to the new gold. Um, and then if you had basic, you are able to keep that for the $250 a year if you'd like. Um, and of course, if you've already unlocked your Launch Pro, it will remain unlocked and you will get uh, everything that you normally would under gold. A couple caveats to that. Um, awesome Golf uh, is included with the gold subscription for new subscriptions. Um, if you already have it, I believe it's available after your subscription renews the following year. Not sure why that is. Um, or you are able to get it for free when you purchase a premium FSX course. So that's one of those golf courses that is $250 or more. Then it'll automatically give you the one year license for Awesome Golf as well. And that's true for uh, Foresight Launch Monitor owners as well, since we're not paying subscriptions. So. I know that's a lot of information. Uh, the gist of it is there is one subscription option and that is gold. That's what you need for all of the FSX software and to be able to integrate with Awesome Golf and GS Pro. Um, and of course, GS Pro has its own subscription of $250 a year. So that has not changed. Now, that's not the only change with the Launch Pro. There is also a new option to purchase the Launch Pro with ball data only. So no club data, ball data only, and that is $1,999 for the ball data only. Now, if you weren't aware, that is all that you need to play simulation golf. So uh, all the simulation software needs is the ball data. The club data is just for you as the user uh, for additional feedback, but it is not required to play any FSX uh, uh, simulation or GS Pro. So honestly, that is a, a great option if you're looking to split up the cost. If you're like, hey, I just wanna get my simulator together this year, I'll do ball data only, 
and then next year maybe I'll buy the club data. You can add it on at a later time. So the way that that works is you buy the uh, Launch Pro with ball data only for $2,000. It comes with a 14 day free trial with the club data. If you want to add the club data within that 14 day free trial, uh, the price is $1,500. If you then add the club data later on, after that trial ends, it is uh, $1,750. So you have a little bit of an incentive to go ahead and get it all at once, but if you want to wait and do that later on, it's gonna cost you $250 more than it would up front. So, hey, I think it's a really good option for some people that just want the ball data, just wanna get their simulator going. That's actually what I did when I started out with the Mevo Plus. I was really unsure about everything. Bought the Mevo Plus, just wanted to see how it was, and then within a couple weeks, I added the Pro package and got all the club data. So it just made me feel a little bit more comfortable with trying it out, and then once I was like, hey, this is for real, I'll go ahead and add the club data. So I think it's a really smart decision by Bushnell to give us that option. Now, I mentioned there are 25 free FSX courses uh, included. If you are a Foresight launch monitor owner like myself, those are available to you as well. So you probably bought it and it came with 10 free courses. You're getting those extra 15 um, today. I've already got them. Uh, I just went into FSX Play in my course library. They are there. Um, you just click the download button and they're ready to go. So I will be doing uh, a bunch of uh, videos, playing videos of those new courses. I'm looking forward to it. I've already scanned several of them. Uh, really cool that they are including those. I think 25 is a great number of courses to be included with the launch monitor. Now, also for Foresight owners, uh, you do have to have a valid FSX license to be able to integrate with GS Pro. So most of us have that because it's included with your purchase. Uh, if you don't, you're gonna wanna look into uh, what that's gonna cost to add. I really like the FSX software. I have no problem with it whatsoever anymore. I love it, I use it um, a lot. But like I said, most of us are already gonna have that. So uh, adding GS Pro is very simple. Guys, that's about it, um, huge announcement. A lot of stuff changing with Foresight, and I actually think it's all good news. I'm really excited that it is officially integrated with GS Pro. I think that is only a good thing. Um, feel free, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, exciting day in golf simulator world. Uh, subscribe, like the video. There'll be more coming out soon, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.